Jackson. This is the System Architect standard demo for System Architect version 11.3. This demonstration is to go alongside the System Architect standard demo script. And it is assumed that this demo is done after uh, the standard System Architect um, for Enterprise Architecture sales presentation. To get started with the demo, uh, we have the welcome guide in System Architect. And this welcome guide allows you to really navigate and understand the usage of System Architect. Uh, it acts as a home page for System Architect, allowing you to set up your own page and allowing you to view the um, common, commonly done tasks in System Architect. For example, how to use System Architect. From the home page here, we can navigate to view the commonly done tasks in System Architect. For example, how do we open up and create a new diagram? And this allows you to uh, use the home page, the welcome guide, rather than the menu items. Using this welcome guide, you can navigate through these commonly done tasks and also facilitate usage of the online help which is alongside each of the tasks, and it is an interactive help guide, allowing you to view um, the specific functionality that you're looking for. So this welcome guide can be configured for custom usage and for the specific type of users. Other than the welcome guide, for navigation, System Architect supports uh, enterprise architecture frameworks System Architect is an enterprise architecture tool, so supporting enterprise architecture, System Architect does allow you to define the, com the common domains of enterprise architecture, from the business architecture to the application architecture, information architecture, and infrastructure. Allowing you to define those, define your artifacts within those uh, domains, as well as the traceability and impact analysis between those domains. So using a, an in enterprise architecture framework, such as the Zockman framework, looking at the Zockman framework, the Zockman framework classifies your architecture information into the specific domains of enterprise architecture. So the Zockman framework acts as a scope and classification system for your enterprise architecture artifacts. So for example, navigating through this framework, at the top we have the what, what kind of data we're capturing for the organization, the functionality, how, uh, how we're capturing that data, what we're doing. So in this column here, we'll have our business functions. So understand, understanding how to navigate through the framework, you can navigate directly to the cell that you're interested in. In this particular case, it is the business process models. So navigating to this functionality for our business process models, on the left here, I'm taken directly to my business process models and business process information. Looking at a different cell in a different domain, here we have the who column, where we're looking at the people in our organization. At the topmost is the contextual. So here we have a list of our organizations within the business. Looking at this particular cell, I um, am able to look at the organizational units and locations for this organization. So here we're looking at the organization, uh, what we've defined, but navigating to that cell, we can also right click, create a new definition, and here we're presented with the artifacts that are the type of artifacts scoped for that particular cell. So we are classifying the architecture into these 30 cells um, following the Zockman framework. As an alternative, you can create your own custom framework, and that custom framework can be built upon an industry standard framework, or it could be built on top of an in industry standard framework. Editing the framework, uh, when we're editing the framework here, we can navigate to this three-tier framework, and this three-tier framework was created uh, as a custom framework built on top of the Zockman framework. Here we're consolidating all 30 cells of the Zockman framework into this three-tiered pyramid. At the topmost level, looking at the strategic information, here we can navigate and drill down uh, to our business 
architecture, our business processes, our business functionality. Later on, uh, going further down into the operational tier, we're looking at um, more specifics into the operations, the organizations, um, organizations and operations of our business. So here we can navigate and open up an organizational chart, for example. And lastly is the technical. And the technical architecture looks at our infrastructure, our network concept diagrams, our network topology diagrams. This is where we can access that information. So that's a custom framework. Other than that, for navigating through System Architect, you can use the Explorer pane on the left. And this Explorer allows you to navigate and drill down to your diagrams and your definitions. So let's drill down to the first level, and we'll start off at the high, highest level, the business architecture, and really look at the um, business architecture in terms of the 50,000 foot view of our organization. Really what we do, what, what are our goals, and um, later drill down into how we provide those goals. Starting at this diagram, this is called the Enterprise Direction Diagram, and this again is the 50,000 foot view of our organization. And this shows me this Acme Corporate Organization, and for this demonstration we are going to use the Acme Corporate Organization, look at the specific organizational units within Acme Corporate, and the business functionality that Acme Corporate performs. So looking at this chart, here we see the organization, Acme Corporate. We, we see the mission statement and specific strategies for that mission um, of this organization. For example, save cost, be innovative, adapt to new technologies, and we have particular tasks like reduce waste. So this, this is what we strive to achieve. And our, our, our vision statement is here on the right for the ends of the organization. So on the left we have the means and on the right the ends, which is a vision to be the vendor of choice for the business to business market. For that particular vision we have three business goals, for example gain market share, improve customer satisfaction, and for some of these goals we have uh, quantitative objectives for when we know um, when we are actually achieving that goal. So improve customer satisfaction, we um, can improve customer satisfaction by improving our customer support satisfaction by 20% by December 09. So looking at this uh, diagram, this enterprise direction diagram, again, the 50,000 foot view of the organization, this looks very similar to um, a visual representation that we can create in Visio. However, here in System Architect, we are presented with the visual model as well as the underlying data. So looking